Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving 3163 string compression 3. Given a string word, compress it using the following algorithm. Begin with an empty string comparison or comp. Uh, while word is not empty, use the following operations. Remove a maximum length prefix of word made of a single character repeating at most nine times and append the length of the prefix followed by C to comp. <coughs> cool, and then we want to return the string comp. So for example, if we have this really basic example, A, B, C, D, E, it should be, obviously there's one A, one B, one C, one D, and one E. So pretty straightforward. You basically just put however many characters there are. Unfortunately, we have the um, pain in the ass here that you can only do nine in a row. So basically we're gonna parse as many as we can. If the count of the same character in a row is actually, um, greater than nine, then we basically put nine of that character and then continue parsing. So we're gonna reset our count. Otherwise, we're gonna parse everything of that character, put the count and then the character to our solution, uh, and there you go. And that's basically how we wanna solve this, really straightforward. I don't know why this one is actually rated a medium. This is pretty simple, but yeah, let's actually just code this up. So obviously, we're gonna need a result um, to store our kind of thing, and we'll just call it comp, um, or I guess we can just call it res. And obviously, we need to keep track of the number, um, basically how our position in the string. We're going to just use a while loop to iterate um, index by index. So we're going to say while position um, is actually less than the length of our word. What we're going to do is we're going to get the, um, the current count of our character, which is obviously zero. So the current, um, the current count is zero and the current character uh, is going to be equal to whatever word of position is. Now what we want to do is we simply just want to move this position cursor up until essentially we um, hit a character that isn't the current character. So um, while the current character is the current character, uh, then we'll just want to increment our position and also increment the current count. And when that while loop breaks, either because we hit a different character or because the count is now greater than nine, uh, we break and then we're going to just append to our results and continue. So we're going to say while, uh, we need a few conditions here. So first, the position needs to be less than the length of the word, pretty straightforward. And <clears throat> the consecutive count, uh, so actually we'll call it the current count, that's the name of our variable, uh, is actually less than nine because for some reason that's the rule. And the word of our current position equals the current character, uh, then we can keep moving our pointer up. So we're gonna say that the current count is going to be, we're gonna add one to it because we're now seeing another character and also the position is gonna go up by one. So once this while loop breaks, we know that we have processed everything that we can, or we've actually hit a point where the count um, is now equal to nine and we basically have to start over again. It could be the same character, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna say comp, uh, or actually sorry, we call this res, uh, res.append. So what do we do? We always do the count of the character and then we put the character itself. So the count is currently an integer, we just need to um, cast it to a string. So we're gonna say string of current count, and we're also gonna do res.append the current character, uh, character, and then uh, we are good to go. So actually all of the processing for the, the while loop will actually ha happen inside of this internal one, uh, so we don't need to increment our position um, further. So now that the while loop breaks, all we need to do is basically we have a um, list here, but we need to join it together because it expects a string. Uh, so because we have a string builder, we can just do uh, empty string dot join and we're going to join our result and this should be it. So let's just run this, make sure we didn't make any mistakes. It looks fine. And cool, it is accepted. All right, very last thing we need to do. Let's just talk about the time and space complexity. So for the time complexity, all we're gonna do is we're gonna process every single element of our string once, and we're gonna do some operations on it. It's fine that we have this double while loop because we actually will only touch every index once. So even though it's a double while loop, it's still a big O of N, um, where N is the length of word. And for the space complexity, we obviously need um, this result array 
which is kind of we need it for the solution. We can't really do it any other way. Um, so it's going to be big O of n because the number of things we store in result uh, depends on kind of the structure of word. And so depending on how long word is, that's going to determine how um, many things we store in res. So yeah, there you go. Big O of n in time and space. That's how you solve this problem. Relatively straightforward. Luckily, not a hard uh, video to make, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something today and I will see you in the next one. See ya.